Building the confidence to take any stage in life and music. What's going on guys? I'm Christette Michelle. This is Rich Hipster University and this is our very first series. Uh, in this series we're going to be talking about uh, becoming confident um, and becoming okay and secure with who you are and what you want to do. A lot of times uh, we let different things get in the way and we procrastinate with putting ourselves out there because we don't feel sure, we don't feel confident enough. In this week's episode I'm going to share one point and then every week for all six weeks I'm going to share another point so that you can build on top of knowledge. And, and become confident to take any stage in life and music. So today we're going to talk about defining your contribution and really finding its weak points. Um, so when you have something that you want to give to people, it's really important that you can really articulate it. What exactly is it that you want to be able to say that you do? What do you want to say that you give or say that you bring? Be able to write that down in a sentence, be able to articulate it, and be able to uh, be confident behind that title. I remember when I first got started, uh, people would say, well, what do you do? And I say, oh, well, you know, I, I, I write songs and, um, you know, I, um, you know, I sing a little bit. And my mother would shout behind me, she's a Grammy Award winning recording artist. And then she would look at me and say, that's what you are, Chrisette. You're a recording artist. And I would say, I'm a recording artist. And uh, but I would be so afraid to say it. Why was I afraid to say it? Because what if somebody asked me questions about it? Now I have to explain who I am. And people will say, well, well what does that mean? Do you travel? Well, well yes, I travel. Uh, what does that mean? Do you have a band? Well, yes. And who's the leader of your band? Well, it's actually my band. I was so afraid to admit who I was because I was afraid of people judging me or deciding that I'm something that I'm not. Instead of just saying, I'm a Grammy Award winning recording artist. It takes a lot of confidence to say that, even though it's who I am. It takes a lot of confidence to say it. So today I wanna to work on a couple of things. So I want you to begin building a database of knowledge and information around who it is that you want to call yourself. Uh, if you want to be a makeup artist, why aren't you following the best makeup bloggers and vloggers and the best, um, buying the best makeup magazines and, and hanging out around people who do that for a living? I need you to be uh, gathering information, ripping sheets out of magazines, putting them in the folder, and really getting to know more about who you say you are so that when conversation comes up you're able to hold your own people would ask me all different types of questions about why I did certain things I was able to after a while articulate why I blinked my eyes so much in music videos and I would be able to say well Diana Ross back in her videos would always blink her eyes and they always had big long lashes and I could pull from some history and really talk about something you don't want to just say you do something and then kind of cower down when it comes time to conversing about it you want to be able to say this is what you do and be knowledgeable about it. So think about what it is that you want to say that you do or that you say that you are and are a little nervous about sometimes. Think about the areas in that that you're nervous. Um, maybe there are some places in that uh, creative uh, experience that you want to give that you need to work on. I want you to really begin to uh, put some 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 essays aside, some blogs aside, start bookmarking things, uh, start following certain people on Instagram so that you can really build on all of your weak parts. Uh, so that's really all for today. I didn't want to take up much of your time. I just wanted to give you a little tidbit. Uh, being confident in what you say you are as is, is as important as being what you say you are. Being confident uh, it gives you the, the, the comfort to talk about it, to network, to make new friends, and, and, and to build build a foundation around uh, what it is that you're saying. When you can start talking about who you are, you can make new friendships, you can make new relationships, you can start getting phone numbers, you might run into more people who do what you do also, and you can build networks. Be comfortable saying what you are and knowing what it means to be what you're saying. I love you so much. This is Rich Hipster University. Hey, listen, go over to www.richhipsteruniversity.com. Calm. Over there, uh, we've got a whole bunch of really cool programs and packages for creative people like yourself. Enrollment is rolling, and I'm a life coach over there. I'm a music coach over there. Uh, I'm just a people coach over there. Uh, I can't wait to make friends with you. God bless you. I'll talk to you soon. Happy learning. Peace.